Arrests the man accused of throwing rocks at dozens of cars along Interstate 35 is closed. I plead guilty. And you're pleading guilty because you did these acts, correct? I plead guilty because I am guilty. Pat Johnson pleaded guilty today in four cases against him in exchange for a 40-year prison term. That is on top of a life sentence he is serving for an unrelated child sexual assault case. KXAN's Alicia Inns takes us to the courtroom to show us how a bizarre day played out. Never, ever any intention to harm anyone. But he did. Nearly a year ago, James Joseph went from a driver on I-35 to one of Johnson's victims. Initially, some of the things that were said when he first uh, came into the courtroom, uh, wasn't quite sure if it was going to happen. Joseph watched from the back of the courtroom as Johnson told the judge about his health problems behind bars in Del Valley. The jail is not buying my medications because they're too expensive. Johnson says he's had AIDS for years and it's what made him lose his mind. I threw the rocks, but I don't know if I was in my right mind when I threw the rocks. Johnson then indicated he wanted to plead guilty in order to get better treatment in prison. I've thought about doing some seriously bad things, and, and I got to get care, and I can't get it in jail. And at one point, the judge asked him to leave because of so many conflicting comments. Oh, I yes, take him out of the courtroom at this time. An hour later, Johnson came back and pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. A sense of relief. You know that uh, you know all the all the pieces of the puzzle had been finally put together, and um, like we knew that they were. The man who was once a victim says now he can return to just being a driver. Uh, so he will never get out. And I think uh, Art Acevedo said it best: uh, he will be under the prison. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. As we mentioned, it has taken several years to get to this point. The first case reported to Austin police happened in June 2014, but it wasn't until almost 2016 when police got a break. In May of 2016, after a rash of new rock throwings, APD put 100 investigators in their organized crime unit on this case. One month later, police arrested Johnson. They say he would throw rocks across the median and then turn around and act as a good Samaritan to drivers who were hit. Investigators noticed Johnson called 911 moments after many of the cases.